bring in nice people, friendly people, things like that. Yeah, they all have something to do. And it's a pity that human doesn't avail themselves of the help of the animal. I will produce another book called The Noble Wild. Ne? It's almost finished, not finished yet, but almost finished. And I can't say all the things that I interact with, the, with them, with the wild one, but just a little bit here and there. And these things are supposed to be discreet yeah, between us. But uh, sometimes inevitable, you know, I let uh, the readers know a little bit. When a situation arises that I have to tell, then I tell a little bit. But I cannot tell everything in one book. It needs to be like hundred books, at least, yeah? And ten books for each, you know? <laughs> for example, a hundred books at least, if I want to tell everything, you know? But I'm not specialized in that, yeah? I just want people to love animals unconditionally. And then whatever develops between them, that will be good for them just because I love them so much, and then it become, it just become natural. And then things happen, and then I discover this, I discover that, and they tell me this, they tell me that, you know? I did not expect all this, honestly. It would be terrible for me to know all that in advance, to hear all the cry of the animals and to hear all the things that they have to tell me, how they suffer and all that, that would be terrible for me. Yeah? Mm. But when you befriend them, they tell you nice things. And of course, when they are in your house or in your care, they are grateful and they're very happy to help you Yeah, in any way they can. It depends on their capacity. Even a swan or a duck, you know, they help you. If you can, contact them, of course. If not, they just work their way through it, work around it, yeah. If they cannot tell you directly, then they make it just happen, just slower, and more troublesome, and maybe you, because you don't know about it, that's all. You're not grateful about it because you don't know anything, but they still do it. They do the best they can to help your life better. If you can hear them, it's fantastic, because they can see everything. Some, like the swan, he can see, wow, 5,000 years backward. Something saved me a lot of time. <laughs> I don't have to go to the second level to check out in the bibliotheque, in the library. Yeah. She just tell me straight if something I need to know about somebody. I don't have to go check. She go check for me. And it's like a flash. I don't have to wait for next time or I call you back in <laughs> an hour. <laughs> no, no, no. Immediate. Yeah. For example, like that. You know, they are tr- tremendous help to mankind. It's a very pity that people don't know about it. Just go on killing them. You kill your helper. You could have let them live and use them and de- develop even your own telepathy. In a while, if you really love an animal, you will contact. And then through that contact, you can contact other animals as well. I'm forever grateful. But that comes after me. I did not know that before. I have to tell you honestly, because I I love Max blind, you know, I just love them and take them home, that's it, because they're helpless. Yeah, that's what I think. But actually now I think humans are more helpless than them. We need help, not them. We need help to develop compassion and to make use of the help that the animal will give us if we love them and contact them. It's really a pity. They are like the physical angel for humankind. You understand how some people always pray to the angel for help in some situation? We have angels running all over the planet in the form of all kind of animals. They are the angels in the physical form to help you in different situations. Well, you know it yourself. For example, we watch on SMTV, there was a dog, a stray dog from nowhere, the name Hero, remember? And there was a woman who has an a accident and lay on the roadside, and he just come and pack her, you know, drag her to the, the edge of the highway so that everybody can see her. You know that. And you're a stranger from nowhere. If it's not an angel, what is it then? Huh? They know everything because they are very psychic. They're very more inside. They are not too much outward seeking like us, that's why. Oh, they eat a little bit and they're satisfied, it's finished. They rely absolutely on divine for protection and food. So they're always in contact with the divine. 
They are truly angels, protectors of human. Just human don't know. It's, it's a shame. It's really a shame. So human really are the one who need help. Need help to wake up. Need help to know every other being are also very special and sometimes better than us in some way. Need help to develop compassion. Need help to recognize that we need help. Yeah. It doesn't really matter to the animals because for them, okay, if they have to die, they die. Uh, Their lives are short, most of them anyway. It's just that uh, if we kill them, you know, we have bad karma and we lose ourselves of one of the very great benefits. They don't lose nothing. You kill them, they go back to where they belong. Everyone has one life anyway, and the animal, they go straight to heaven. If you don't let them help, then they go home. So they don't lose nothing, it's just the one who kills them will lose. Yeah, lose the merit, lose heart, lose compassion, lose a great part of love, and lose a great part of help that God has sent here for us. Yes, in the Bible it says that I create animals to befriend you and to be your helpers. It is truly like that. How come nobody listen? How come nobody realize this? Isn't that amazing? Huh? They read the Bible every day. Nobody realize it. What did God say? God said, animal here to help you. Find out what they can help. No, eat them before they can even help. Kill them already. How come people are so oblivious to such a very obvious truth which is stated in the Bible? The first page even, no? Almost. <laughs> you know, one of the first pages about creation. Yeah. The Old Testament. Huh? It's incredible. Yeah. I think definitely human needs help, not animal needs help. Of course, they would not like to die you know, like everyone else because they, they have a job to do here. But if they die, they die. They lose nothing. Physical life don't mean that big deal to them because they're always contacted with the divine. Before somebody kills them, they know it already. They know everything in advance. They can see past and future. Just like I'm reading a book. Yeah, sometimes my bird, because I'm busy, I don't always sit there and look into the crystal ball, and I don't care that much about those things. I'm going about with my business, you know. I'm so busy. So my bird has to remind me that something will happen. Or even the wild, they tell me. Sometimes if I'm too busy to listen in daytime, they come at nighttime. <laughs> when I sit or meditate or more quiet.